70 degrees. It is an absolutely beautiful day out here in the state of Delaware. It's a roasty, toasty one today, man. Let me go ahead and turn this off here for a second. So first of all, you can tell it's been warming up around here. Just look at all of these sacrifices that have been made as we've been driving, man. We've been straight splattering some stuff. As I've been saying, it's gonna keep getting warm out here. The fishing is going to keep getting better, hopefully. I think it's almost time to bring out the fly rod, man. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for that. There's bugs out, so that might be a thing. Today, I'm gonna focus on doing some exploring. As you guys can see, we're kind of like in some marsh area right now. We got all these reeds poking out. I figured since I'm stuck here in Delaware, I don't really like to use that terminology, but you know, I, I can't really go to other states right now. This is honestly like a perfect time to start going to places, start doing some exploring, you know, trying some stuff out that I've never really tried before. So yeah, I really uh, don't know what to expect here today. I think, like hopefully we're gonna be able to find some fish. Really, whatever happens, happens. Let me show you guys what we're gonna be using in this. Uh, oh my gosh, every time I see these things, just, they're so freaky, man. If you guys have never seen these before, these are blood worms. They are a very interesting bait. I'll get one out at our first spot here. But basically, they're a worm and they're filled with blood and they have these crazy mouths filled with teeth. They're kind of like, if you know what a lamprey looks like, their mouths kind of look like that and it comes out of their own head. It will bite you and it will sting. They're just kind of weird to deal with. And on top of that, dude, freaking $11 for one pack of blood worms. So this is like a smaller pack. This has 12 of them. This pack right here is supposed to have Actually, what the heck? I wanted to buy one jumbo one. Wait, maybe these are the normal ones. These ones look a little skinny. Okay, no, yeah, this is the first pack. So these are the jumbo blood suckers. There's six in here. There's 12 in this little pack. These guys, if you guys can see that, they're like a little bit smaller. Sick, dude. So 18 worms, $22. This is a little pricey for worms. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff set up here. Look at all this. Can you see all that pollen, dude? Rip allergies. So this is what we got going on here. We have one little dropper loop coming down to a small hook. Hello? Focus on the, there we go. I think that's like a size eight hook and that is coming down to this little guy right here. So in the water, the weight will be on the bottom and this will kind of just be dangling with our juicy bloody worm. The one thing is this might be too light-ish of a setup. This is like an ultra light rod and this, this is a super old line. I don't know, let's do some exploring though, man. Bro, okay, so I have heard that carp congregate at these spillways around here. Dude, this is freaking in I don't even know if you guys can tell or not how many freaking carp are down there. This is oh, holy freaking crap, man. There's also some shad I see that are mixed in with them. This is insane, dude. This is like literally so cool. I'll put some uh, videos from my phone up here in case like the camera doesn't do it justice because it doesn't zoom in very well. Dude, that is absolutely loaded. Let me know if I should come back here. Maybe try to catch these carp, try to do something cool, man. Maybe a little bow fishing action. I was just talking to a guy out here. He actually just left, but he said that he caught some white perch here like a lot earlier in the day, but I guess the tide is super, super low right now. I didn't even think of that, man. The tide is so low. That is so sick. All right, this is, uh, yeah, this is not, oh, what the heck? I don't know if that's somebody's bait right there or what? All right, we gotta keep moving, man. There's no time to waste. Oh, let's keep driving. All right, let's check out this little area right here. Ooh. Look at how freaking thick that boy is. Oh my God, that is a thick freaking boy. Dude, the last thing I want is for this guy to bite me. They're quick too. Let's get you out of here, buddy. Oh, dude, that is so big. Oh my God. All right, let me make sure none of these escape out here. Oh no, yeah, it actually does say jumbo right there. I don't know how I didn't see that earlier. Dude, look at, the, oh my God. That's its mouth right there. You see that? Look at that. See how that thing just like squirted out of him? His mouth literally is inside of him. Oh, he is not happy, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've never seen a blood worm this big, dude. It's freaking nuts. What we're gonna do here, what I usually do, I just kind of chop the head. Oh, dude, his head's coming out. Like, look at that. That mouth is vicious. I'll put a picture up on the screen right now of what the mouth actually looks like. I know the GoPro probably isn't doing the best. What I usually do here is I cut the head off. I don't have my pliers with me, so that is sick. Got this little tool here, though. So what we do here, just cut that head off. It's the mouth part. Here's part of its tail. We're gonna throw this on, on the uh, rig down here somewhere. Wherever the heck I put that. And then just, oh my gosh, that thing is still moving, moving. Just like a normal worm, just kind of thread that dude on. It's just, I mean, if you think about it like that, it's just a normal worm with freaking giant mouth and blood squirting. All right, we're gonna throw this in here. Ah. Not exactly sure how deep this is, but I do know that uh, the wind is not completely whipping us over here. You know what I mean? We're getting kind of shielded in this area. Dude, the wind is super, super, super strong today. Um, there's like a pier down that way that you could go to, but it was, it's just whipping. This is very nice, man. Hopefully we catch something. It is super, super low tide though. I, I'm pretty sure this is not the best time to be trying to 
to catch anything in here. But I mean, dude, so many different kinds of species of fish could be in here. I mean, really, you know, you just never know. I've really never been over here, but there should be stripers. There should be white perch. Definitely catfish. Is that a bite? Am I getting bit? I'm not gonna lie, this is very, very relaxing. You got the birds chirping, you got the sounds of the water. See, am I, am I getting bit there? There's a family like over that way that was taking a boat out and they were just arguing with each other. Let's cast this dude out. Ah, that way a little bit more. Oh yeah. No, that should be good. Look at just how flat this state is. So it is the next day. I haven't been saltwater fishing in a while. I forgot, you know, how much the tide actually matters. Upon arrival, it should be like the opposite of what it was when we were just there. It was low tide and now it should be, like it's about to be high tide in one hour, I think. So the water level should be way up. Hopefully, I'm guessing that's gonna push all the fish in. We got some stuff in the back. We got the blood worms. I think we're a lot more prepared today. Jeez, man. The wind is just like, Yeah, bit. There's a fish. Fish on. What in the heck is that? Come here, boy. On the bloodworm. Dude, it's taking so freaking long to catch something. Wait, what is that? Oh, dude, let's freaking go. That's exactly what we're after. Oh my gosh. All right, hold on. There might, keyword might, be a school over there where I was casting. Let's not get freaking spiked. Oh, beautiful little white perch. Definitely not like. Like there's some big ones that run through here and especially like there, there's some big old fatties because they got eggs and stuff. This is not one of those, but uh, definitely good to see there's some life. This is the species we're after. So this is not where I was fishing earlier. Let me let him go real quick. But this is like all connected kind of thing. If that makes any sense. Whew. All right, it's taken some searching, but I think we finally found something here. Get this back on, dude. These things look so weird. Just like, like that is so freaking weird, dude. Throw that right back towards the same area. See if there's a school, man. Cool thing is, if there's a school too, there's probably some big old thicky fat boys in there, fat girls. <clears throat> super, super windy today again, though. As I said, it's like this wind has been insane recently. I think I'm actually gonna recast that here. I wanted a little closer to this bridge. That should be good right there, actually. A little bit of tension on it so it's off the bottom with this dropper loop. Then we wait. Please don't let that be the only freaking perch, dude. There's gotta be some more down there. All right, y'all, we got a new piece of bloodworm on here. Get some fresh scent into that water. It's getting a little bit windier. It feels like it's gonna rain, honestly. But I think that this is a lot better than what we had. I think the last piece of blood worm, oh yeah, look at that right away. If we could just get him to take it. Something just keeps bopping me down there. I have no freaking clue what would really be hitting it like that. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. He smacked that. What the heck is this, dude? Yo, he smacked it. What is this? Ooh. Oh my God, that thing is freaking fighting, dude. Okay, okay, we might be onto something here. Fresh blood worm. Nice. Oh, dude, that's fatter too. All right, chill. These things have like razor blades all over their body. Get out of there, boy. Give me that blood worm. These are the jumbos, man. You can't be stealing my stuff. Second perch of the day. Dude's got a little humpback going on right there. I'm telling you, man, once this spring actually is like in full thriving effect here, these things are gonna be running this creek. These things get freaking huge. They hit a lot of different things and it's, they, they pull so hard, man. It's gonna be so fun. Right now though, I will take what I could get for this time of the year. Let's let you go, buddy. Thank you so much. Right over in that area. 
That dude bit like pretty freaking quick too. This is fun, man. I, I love freaking pan fishing, especially just, you know, going out and fishing for whatever bites. It's just relaxing. Especially, especially when you're at like a tidal creek like this, fishing with a bait that really, I mean, this bait will catch a lot of different things. This part of Delaware is really interesting and I still like relatively new-ish to it, I'd say. But there's a lot of spots like this one where the salt water meets the fresh water. So like the fish from the salt swim up like stripers white perch different species they swim up and then uh there's a spillway and then you know from the freshwater the freshwater fish swim down this is kind of like where everything congregates it's, it's very interesting man i kind of i really dig it a lot of people actually take these white perch home to uh catch clean and cook and you know to actually fry up and eat white perch are freaking underrated man they are a delicious pan fish today we're not gonna be taking any though let's get a good cast right over there See what happens, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that might be bigger. Oh my gosh. Dude, what the heck? I don't know if that's a freaking perch, dude. That thing is fighting. Oh. Hold on a second. Wait, what is that? Wait a second. Holy crap, dude. Wait, 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 wait. Come here, boy. Oh my gosh. Oh, Holy freaking crap, that is a giant, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, remember what I was saying? There might be a giant if there's a school. That is a freaking slab perch. Hold on, let me get my freaking, oh my gosh. Dude, freaking jumbo. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, here is my hand. That thing is like, <laughs> that is a beast of a freaking perch. That thing put up a fight. That is so awesome, man. All right, so we definitely found the fish. I wonder, I, I gotta look up real quick. What is the citation in Delaware for white perch? Oh God, he pooped on me. Hi, I'm just curious. Uh, what's the citation perch here in Delaware for you, uh, white perch? Uh, one pound. All right, thank you very much. So I just called the bait shop because the online rules were kind of, I don't even know. This is not one pound. It has to be one pound. And that thing is pretty, I don't know, hold on. All right, let's let you go there, buddy. That white perch is uh, 0.54. She's need to be double that for a freaking citation. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> Dude, I literally had my freaking line just sitting in the water. The Oh, what? What? But like, actually, what? Tangled with another line somehow. Okay, there we go. Dude, what the heck? So I ran up and get my scale. I came down real quick. And my, like, my bloodworm was dangling there in the water. This freaking green sunfish just... What? Oh, jeez. All right, I'll let you go there. This creek is starting to come alive. He took... Oh, dude, freaking green sunfish, man. Where's my bloodworm at? Now, if I knew I was just going to be fishing here, probably instead of doing this little drop shot rig, which, I mean, it's working right now, I probably would have put on, like, a bobber and just, like, a little split shot. I think one of my goals for this year is definitely going to be to get a citation white perch. As I said, they should really start running here in Delaware like pretty pretty soon like really really good running so if we can make that a thing and definitely yellow perch this year that that would also be like I just want to fill up my whole wall in my little office slash editing room citation so far we do have one I mean I'm happy about that that was the trout that was actually last year around this time we caught a good old giant fat rainbow trout he needs some friends though Starting to, oh my gosh. Someone just jumped right behind me. It's starting to rain, dude. It's getting a little soggy out here. This needs to be protected at all costs. I am not gonna lose another freaking scale to the rain. That's how they always go. Oh. I got a fish on, but I'm in a freaking rock. What the heck? What is going on? All right, I'm gonna try to let that swim out of there. What in the world? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's freaking go, dude. Dude, just freaking splooshed my eye out. All right, this is a different spot. Oh, beautiful little little baby perch. Get you back in there, boy. This is like a beautiful little area right here. We've got a nice fast moving current and look at this, just steady calmness. I love my blood worms all the way over here. We're gonna mess around and see if we can catch some big old thick boys out of here. All right, right on the edge. 
that current break right here. Oh, I'm getting smacked. Oh, he's hitting it. Oh, I got it. Oh, nope. Dang it. Let me size down this blood worm real bit. I don't think they understand, man. These things are expensive. No free meals out here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So that is... All right. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to have to ask you to please not do that, sir. Ooh. No, yeah, no. We sure as heck have pinpointed smaller ones. Six Civic, brother. I'm getting bit. Oh, he's got it. I'm in something again. What the heck? All right, please go out of something. I feel like I'm freaking tog fishing. Oh, I got it. <laughs> okay. Oh, what the heck? Holy crap, that is beautiful. You are fancy. Look at you. You got a nice little blue on your face there. Such a pretty little sunfish. Right, we're gonna let you back there. On the blood worm yet again. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. That was tunnel number one. Let's toss her in. See if number two's got anything to offer here. Watch it. It's gonna be like a different species every tunnel. Oh, that's a bite. I'm getting knocked. He doesn't, he's not taking it. The heck was that? Oh, he's got it. Oh, dang it. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's see what tunnel number two, okay. Tunnel number two, different species, white perch. All right, can you not? All right, ow, he spiked me a little bit. All right, tunnel number two. <laughs> so that go. Oh, there's a duck coming out of tunnel. tunnel number one. Just all sorts of surprises. I think it's only right. We got to get it. Oh, dude. Something ran with that instantly. Oh, I'm getting bit. Take it. We got him. Tunnel number three. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 wait. No, wait. Yeah, no. Hold on. Dude, I think that's a different species yet again. <laughs> Did that actually? Hold on. Let's get this dude out of here. Dude, freaking bloodworm is putting it in work. Oh, yeah. No, I'm pretty sure that is literally just a normal bluegill. If you guys could please help me identify that species in the first tunnel. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's let you go there, buddy. Dude, freaking bloodworms, man. Hey, man, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please make sure to go down there. Smash the crap out of that thumbs up button. We do be catching species, though. Oh. Off the backboard. What's that? What is that? What are you? Oh, okay. That's a little bit bigger. Another little chubster. I do encourage you guys, if you never have tried, you know, just multi species or just fishing for whatever bites, definitely give it a shot. Yeah, it's so much fun, dude. Yeah, big fish are fun, but you know, every now and then, this is just a freaking blast. Bang. Oh, that is interesting. That is like a super, super, hold on, chill, 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 chill. That is an extremely pale blue girl. I don't know, I'm probably getting all my sunfish species mixed up here. Somebody please let me know in the comments below what the heck I've been hooking here. This right here is what I was talking about a little bit earlier, man. This freaking citation, just imagine the whole wall. Like this is where I kind of sit and chill and edit. It's a little bit messy right now, don't mind that, but just imagine the whole wall, pickerel, trout, freaking giant carp. It's like such a sick award. If you guys were wondering, three pounds, 
and 4.48 ounces April 8th 2019 so that is actually I mean, that's a little bit over a year ago. Once I get one more of these, we're gonna start hanging them up on the wall here. Let me know what species you guys think we should go after next to get one of these things. I definitely, again, no, I, I really definitely would have had one for largemouth bass. I think it's five pounds is the weight, but the rules are kind of like weird. I don't know how exactly it works. Like I don't want to take a five pound bass. That was my PV was five, three something. I don't want to take that and you know, not have it you know, swim away. I, I have to take it to the bait shop. I don't know, maybe when I go bass fishing now, I have to start carrying a cooler along with like a little aerator or something. The rules for these kind of things are very confusing. There's like a live release award and then there's like citation stuff. You bring it in a tackle shop like what I did with that rainbow trout. I'm gonna have to look more into it, man, but that's what, like that's really what I wanna get after. I wanna collect them all. I think I was pretty close to bluefish last year too. Not sure what flounder was either, but I did catch a giant fly. I gotta start like doing more research before I go out. One pound white perch, so I think that like, I, I think that's doable. I guess we'll just have to see. Like that's the fun thing about fishing, man. When you go out, you never know what is going to happen. Oh my gosh. Yeah, man. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to go down there, smash the crap out of that thumbs up button. It definitely helps out the channel, and you know, really does mean a lot to me, man. If you have any suggestions for future videos, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Those are always greatly appreciated. I have like a lot of things on the list. I have so many video ideas that I have written down, but this whole craziness that's going on. Right Right now kind of like threw a wrench in a lot of different things really at this point you know i'm just happy to go out there and still fish but you know i'm not going to be going to stores or doing any budget challenges at the moment i just do not think that is the most responsible thing to do to go out there and just you know it's just i don't know we'll have to see where all this stuff goes but in the meantime thank you guys so much for watching this video if you do enjoy my videos but you are not already man make sure to go down there click that subscribe button and if you never want to miss an upload from me go down there click that notification bell cool stuff is coming on the way man potential citations all i gotta say is thank you guys so much for all the support let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching See you next video.